I'm going to be using Yandere Dev's video as the background for this footage because essentially he's already laid out everything that needs to be laid out and said. So at any point in time you see the video in the background and you say to yourself, gee, I would like to hear what he has to say about this and you want to go and watch it, go ahead and pause this video and go watch that video in full because it will give you full context about what I'm going to say. That being said, I'm going to wrap it up into a big nutshell for you here and tell you exactly what's going on. So before before I really get into the meat of this video, I want to state that I did reach out and attempt to contact Twitch in every avenue I possibly could to get an answer about this situation, and to no avail. Shocker, you'll understand why I said that at towards the end of the video. Because Twitch has refused to answer this guy. Not to unban this individual's game that he's making, but rather, why? So let me begin first by stating that Yandere Simulator is a game where you take someone else's affection and love and try to steal it away. So there's a guy and he has admirers, different women who admire him, and it is your job to stop them in some way, shape, or form. You can do this various ways, either violently, non-violently. You can think what you want about the game. You don't even have to enjoy the game. That's not what this is about. This is about Twitch refusing to reply. So you might say to yourself, okay, the game was banned because it allows you to dismember bodies, it has school children getting attacked, uh, you know, there's pretty close to nudity in the game. It's easy to see why this, this quote-unquote weeaboo trash was banned, okay, as someone has pointed out. That being said, Yandere Dev did point out the fact that games like Grand Theft Auto V are allowed, which has a literal torture scene in it, and a strip club scene, and then there are other more gruesome graphic games that are permitted. The Modern Warfare 2 campaign has a mission in it where you're basically a terrorist slaughtering people at an airport. That's permitted. What we're trying to address here, what we're trying to get an answer about is why his game was banned. The process in which he should go about to appeal this because Yandere Simulator has followed the rules since it's updated. He's changed things. He's altered things. And so naturally as a developer who pours their work into a game, pours their heart and soul into this product, it would be in their best interest to change things to get it onto every single platform that there is to get support and views on it, right? That makes sense. So he's already stated that he has no problem changing certain small things that he personally does not care about just to reflect on Twitch's value system. The problem comes in when he stated that he contacted every single possible avenue for Twitch, just as I did, and got no reply, no answer whatsoever. If I, a 500 100,000 subscriber channel can't get an answer from Twitch. This developer, who has over a million subscribers on YouTube, can't get an answer. The question now falls, would you ever be able to get an answer? And you yourself, as a small-time person, maybe even a YouTuber yourself, you might say, oh, I don't care about that. You know, it's just some weeaboo trash game that got banned off Twitch. But here's the problem. It's not just some weeaboo trash game that got banned off Twitch. It is a game that got banned without any answer for why. In his emails, people have stated that they would forward his email to someone that could help him, and essentially, they continue to pass the buck over and over again without actually giving him an answer. And it makes me feel extremely sad to see this happen to someone, because I too have went through that process with Twitch. See, originally, I wanted to be partnered with- there was a point in time where I was very popular on Twitch. I streamed a lot, but I had to make a choice. If Twitch wasn't going to partner me, I wasn't going to spend my time and focusing my energy on Twitch when I had a huge platform over on YouTube where I was making lots of views, lots of subs, and doing well for myself. So you can see how insane it would have been for me to sit there and focus my attention and divide it on both YouTube and Twitch rather than focusing it on the one platform that was providing me my main source of income. Hence why I don't stream or mess around with Twitch anymore because they refused to partner me. No matter if I had the subscribers on YouTube or the followers on Twitch, or even the views at times on Twitch. They just wouldn't do it. So regardless to if you think this game is garbage, trash, that shouldn't even exist,
exist, that's fine. But you have to understand, if this can happen to this guy, this developer here, who gets banned and shoved to the side without even the ability to protest why he was banned, or get even just an answer, a reason, hey, just change this and your game will be unbanned, that's all he's asking for. And to have that happen with no reply, no response from Twitch, that's pretty fucking pathetic and sad from a huge company. And I think it all boils down to the fact that Yandere Simulator isn't as popular as Grand Theft Auto 5. It isn't as popular as Modern Warfare. It isn't as popular as Battlefield 1. I think there's a line that Twitch likes to follow, and it doesn't like to cross that line unless they make a lot of money because of it. And I think you can see that in this example that I've shown. So ladies and gentlemen, you can support Yandere Dev over on his own page. Feel free to visit him. Feel free to subscribe to him. I understand if it's not your thing. It's not particularly my thing either. That being said, as Mavericks, OG Mavericks know what I'm saying there, we have an obligation to help others against these ridiculous injustices. We aren't SJWs. We're Mavericks. We pick and choose our battles, and this is one that I think is worth fighting for. So ladies and gentlemen, feel free to support him on Twitter at Yandere Dev. Feel free to check him out on YouTube at Yandere Dev, and uh, watch his broadcasts over at Twit- Oh, just kidding. He can't do that, because Twitch, well, if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. You guys have yourselves a great day. I've been your host, Protomari, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming. God bless. Thanks for watching.